Hi, welcome to Module 5 of Editorial Workflow in OJS 3.3. In this video, we're going to see how a section editor assigns peer reviews to a submission. In the previous video, we saw the editor assign team, our section editor, to a new submission. When Tim logs in, he lands into his dashboard. You can see that he's now on his submissions page. If you watched the last video, when we logged in as the editor-in-chief, you noticed that there was a lot more in the interface, including a whole list of options along the sidebar. Now, because Tim is just a section editor, he doesn't have access to any of those features in OJS. He's really focused just on the submissions he's been assigned to. We can see here he just has one submission that he's working on. If we click on the view button, we can jump right in and take a look. Tim is able to see the original submission files and if he clicks on it, it will download and he'll be able to read it. He'd be able to check any of the pre-reviewed discussions to confirm or answer any questions. If he clicks on the editorial assignment, he could see the email that he got, and he can add a message and attach any needed files. He has the action buttons on the side, and he can decide whether to send this to a review, whether it should be just accepted and moved into copy editing, or if it should be declined. For this example, let's send it to review. OJS selects the files that have been submitted and puts a checkbox next to them so we can have the opportunity to send those to review. Now, if this was the case where there were multiple files that had been submitted, we have the opportunity to uncheck some of them if we didn't want those to move on to review. Let's just send this forward. Now you can see that we moved from the submission to the review stage. In round one, we can see that we're waiting for reviewers to be assigned. And the submission file is now a review file that's ready for review. So the key task Tim has is to add some reviewers. So let's do that here. From the reviewers panel, let's click on the add reviewer button. This takes us to the page where we can see all of our available reviewers. We just have a few, so we can quickly select from the list. But there are some search options here that if you did have an extensive list, can help you to narrow it down. Some of the search options here include how many reviews they have completed, what's their average amount of time to complete, how long it has been since they last did a review, and how many currently active reviews do they have. You could also do a search for reviewer interests, but for now, I'm just going to pick one by clicking on Select Reviewer. This brings up the email that will go to the reviewer, the text, includes important information like the review date, a URL to access this, and it's signed by the section editor. Important dates include when we need to get a response from the reviewer, and what that means is that she needs to let us know whether she's going to do it or not. Then the other is the due date to actually complete the review. Now we can see which of the submission files will be sent to this reviewer. After that, we can select a review type. This is going to be a blind review, where both the reviewer and the author are anonymous. If we have a review form for this section, we can select it from the drop-down menu. When we're finished, we can click on Add Reviewer. An email has automatically been sent out to Luis, asking him if he'll do it, and he's now also in our reviewers list. We could then add another reviewer if we wanted to. But for the sake of this, we'll just keep it simple with this one and that's it. Tim's done his job. He sent the invitation out to Luis and now he's just going to wait for a response from the reviewer to find out if he's gonna do it or not. So in the next video, we'll take a look and see what it looks like from the reviewer's perspective. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.